another pollock for me. I lost the, I lost my hook eyes, and lucky enough, Kieran had a, a ropey set in his bag. When I say when I say ropey, look how rusty that middle look is. Oh, you can't really see it, but yeah, it's, it's ropey. Kieran's just had a double shot of pollock. Um, oh, there's fish everywhere. This wreck is absolutely covered in fish. Um, yeah, hopefully a few more. video you joined me and Kieran today at New Haven oh, I've literally we had the sib comp yesterday um, which obviously you saw the last video I think I got home about eight hours ago um, I had to sort my gear out I had a shower I think I had a sandwich for dinner and then um, went to bed because I was knackered and then I left my house this morning half past two drove up to Kieran's and it's now What's the time now? Quarter past four in the morning. Um, Kieran's just bringing his boat because, as you can see, it's been a busy weekend. If his boats are free abreast on here, um, and yeah, I've not been out on Kieran's new boat. Yeah, it's a beautiful, beautiful boat. Um, I'm just taking some gear down. He's going to bring it round. Um, I'm sure you'll love the name of this one. Um, so Kieran's got, Kieran's had a few boats. He's still got one. He's, he's still got a 33 foot Aqua Bell, Aqua Star, um, which is called the Gradder. Then he had his last boat that we went out on when we broke down. That one was called Balls Deep. And this one is called Big Pollocks. And it is, it is a piece of kit. It really, really is. Um, we haven't, we haven't got a plan planned today, if you like. We've got, We've got some ideas of what we want to do. We want to have a go for some tope. We want to have a go with some lures. We want to have a go with some, for some bass. First of all, we're going to go out and get some mackerel, hopefully. Um, and then see what the day takes us. We've got a long, long day. We ain't going to be back till 5 o'clock tonight. So we've got like a good 12 hours. We've got a good 12 hours fishing time. Um, so, yeah. I um, oh, Last night I was sitting there thinking about the last video, um, the Sib Comp. And the footage I got wasn't great. I missed out doing the presentation, so we didn't get to see that. And I know not everyone wants to see us sitting in a calf, seeing showing the winners, and it's because it's not about it. But it just would have made the video. So it, it was hard though, because although it was still a good day out fishing, I was still it was still a competition. And although it wasn't a, a serious, serious competition, at the end of the day, if you went to a competition, you, you, you're going to to try and win. Um, and that's what I was doing. Um, and luckily enough, I did. I got a win. I got a one. I, I got a prize, so I was more than happy with that. Um, yeah, yeah, it's coming around now. Yeah, she's a lovely boat. Right, I'm gonna go and give Kieran hand, and I'll um, I'll see you out in the water. Right. Welcome aboard Big Pollocks. This Fandango stuff we've got going on here. We'll have a look at that later. Was it Kieran 115, isn't it, on the back? Yeah. yeah. We've got 115 Suki on the back, which is very, very quiet. <coughs> Plenty of rod holders. Three tanks of petrol. We are having it today. It's lovely canopy. So ginger people don't do well in the sun, so he needs it. This, this was just some of the winnings from um, from the from the boat comp yesterday. Loads of laws and bits and bobs of tackle and stuff. So, I mean, you putting some of this to the test later on. Some rigs from Gavin as well, which we all know I use Gavin's rigs anyway. But yeah, now I've got some more. Um, what I will do is I will bring you guys back when we get to our first mark. We're going to do some mackerel first, but we all know what mackerel look like, so we'll do some mackerel, hopefully get ourselves some bait, and then um, we'll get to the first mark, and, and then I'll let you know what we're doing, because at the minute I still don't know, to be fair. We've only gone and come across some tuna. Look at the size of that fish. 
for, for the people that don't know, we are only joking. That is just a mass, but it just looks, well, it looks like a fish, doesn't it? We've managed a couple of mackerel, but all these, you see all these fish on this screen. Oh, I touched it. No, don't touch. Go back. Um, oh, I've touched that one and all. Close. Um, all these, they're all tiny fish. We was, um, some of them, like, they were only five foot deep. And we could just see little flashes and flickers of tiny, tiny little white bait. Look like, look like maybe sand eels or actual live bait. Oh, Kieran, there's one of them jellyfish, but just a lot smaller. So look, look, look how long the tentacles are on it. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. But yesterday, they were like five foot. Um, yeah, we're getting some mackerels, though, look. Taupe food, bass food. Right, guys, we're fishing. We've been fishing for about an hour or so. We've been drifting about a bit and now we've anchored up. Um, I've had a couple of dogfish. Uh, Kieran's using some top, top, sec top, top secret bait that I can't tell you what it is. Um, and he's into into something that he said is not a dogfish. So I'm pretty certain it's a dogfish. There's just a lot of tide oh, one here and he's, and he's got a lot of lead. <laughs> so I just thought I'd, uh, I'd bring you back and show you well, Kieran's dogfish. Hopefully it ain't. It was, to be fair, it was it was just bouncing about a bit. It was very undogfish-like. Oh, tension's killing me. And this flat, calm, beautiful, sunny day that we was meant to be having lied. It's freezing. It's like the it's, yeah, and it's like the perfect storm. Well, we are fishing 107 foot of water. I every, every foot of it. That's a, <laughs> oh, what is that? It is a hound. We said a hound. There you go. Top secret bait. Well, I'm going to help Kieran. I'll bring you back. Tower walking. Just very quickly, guys, before Kieran unhooks it, we've uh, tried to cut the wrecks up. One wreck, and now we're on a different one. First drop down, Kieran's found a pollock on fe fe feathers of all things. Happy days, dude. Let's hope we get some bigger ones. Nice one. Well, Kieran is still absolutely smashing me on, on, on my feathers. <laughs> but look at that for a pouting. Uh, I mean, up against Kieran. Look at the size of it. And I don't mean Kieran's belly. <laughs> That's a monster. Well done, mate. Oh, I, um, I've had a couple of takes. Oh, I've had a pouting on my law, but still yet to find, still yet to find a pollock. Kieran just had a nice double shot of pollock. One actually for the table in there because it wouldn't go back. So it's um, I'm getting there. I'm going to get a fish, a proper fish on the law today. I can feel it. It's going to happen. Mr. Hunter has actually got one, finally. I did cheat though, didn't I? <laughs> Alright, take that. Oh, that's that. I'm not taking it, but I'll happily, happily take that from the first Look at that. Right? What a lovely, lovely pat, uh, aren't the patty, you know? <laughs> We're going to call it a patty, you know, We're going to call it a patty. Do you want this one? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'll have that. Yeah, too, right. That's good eating. Beautiful. So I changed over from the law that I've been using just to a set of ock eyes because Kieran's obviously doing well on the feathers. Slow jig on the bottom. As soon as it went down. Beautiful. <laughs> right guys, I couldn't record it because obviously I took on my phone. Kieran was trying to catch fish too. But guess what I've got on call? Bosh! My first cod on the law. Oh. We're just moving up now, so I had time to record it. Get in. It's not massive, but I will definitely, definitely take that. Summer cod, lovely. What's it go? 52 centimetres, give or take. Well happy with that. So is Kieran, because he's having it for dinner with his pollock. So, what we'd do, if I just put that, I'll leave that there for a minute. What we're doing with this with a wreck. Let me see what I mean. See the wreck there on the screen? 
you see all the little zigzag lines. So we're just going around in a circle, going around the wreck, drifting over it, around the wreck, drifting over it, and just that's basically what we're doing. Just keep doing bits and bobs like that. Um, yeah. And there you go, because we were starting up there, and now we're getting closer because as Kieran just said, the tide's dropping off. Um, we're pretty much straight on it. All right, let's get another cod. Another pollock for me. I lost the, I lost my eyes, and luckily enough, Kieran had a, a ropey set in his bag. I want to say, I want to say ropey. Look how rusty that middle look is. Oh, you can't really see it, but yeah, it's, it's ropey. Kieran's just had a double shot of pollock. Um, oh, there's fish everywhere. This wreck is absolutely covered in fish. Um, yeah, hopefully a few more. Well, I'm gonna sit this drift out, see if Kieran can show us a fish live. He's literally just dropped it in. Well, we have, or I have, just been having it off with the pouting, but some of them are massive, absolutely monster pouting. Yeah, having it off with the pouting, yeah. <laughs> Mate, honestly, I have not, like I just said to Kieran, guys, I have not been this excited fishing for a while. The f it's just incredible. It's like, listen, uh, we've all done a bit of mackerel fishing, and, and yeah, once you've had a few mackerel, you've had a few mackerel. But it's still good fun. I don't care how old you are, our experience of an angler you are, mackerel fishing is good fun. But doing this and catching pollock and cod on feathers, if you like, just bigger, is incredible fun. So much fun. Again, yeah, it's cheating because you're on a boat, but I don't care. It's good fun. It's a good day out, and it's Monday. Everyone else is at work. And me and the Ginger Ninja are living it up. We'll give it a sec. So look, this is the wreck here, look. So you can see the boat. I don't think you can, hang on. We're the little boat, and obviously that is the wreck there. And we're drifting that way. Saying that, where the tide stopped running and it stopped pulling us, the wind is now pushing us and pulling us where it wants to. So the drift, the last couple of drifts have been a bit ski with, but we still got fish though, haven't we? On, on both of them. Well, I have anyway. Um, copyright, Mr. Slim Shady. But I'll tell you what, as Kieran's not doing it for us, I'm going to drop mine down and I'll bring you back. <laughs> Kieran's in again. It's honestly, as soon as it hits the bottom. Pollock, isn't it? Here's a pollock. Another good one, mate. Lovely. So we was on our way back, and Kieran said, shall we use up the last little roll of blacks that I bought yesterday from with me from yesterday? And he's managed to wink away a flat one. And wear it. And wear it. <laughs> Lovely. Everyone loves a place. And there's my efforts of drifting. Last fish of the day because it's time to go. Oh, it's gone, mate. That was like a rocket. <laughs> Thank you, everyone, for watching. Um, I'll see you on the next one. Um, please don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already.